Okay guys, we're back at the field. I was here literally four hours ago with the uh, the pocket rocket. Um, I got little man here. Uh, he's gonna help me film because the GoPro is just not cutting it. So, um, so you guys know now we actually have Wi-Fi up to the the Wi-Fi up to the garage, so yay! That's good. So now we can print things quite Yeah, I have my two 3D printers that work all night long to print my jets up in the garage, and I did not have Wi-Fi, so I was taking up and down trips for memory cards. You don't want to hear that story. But anyway, I'm here for two reasons. I want to get good video because this guy is a professional cameraman and yeah. from my J10 videos, so he's going to be able to track this and thing. And also have F35. Hold on one sec. Oh yeah, his F35 model there. Um, he has a, a 2x zoom on there, so you're going to be able to see this better. First flight, I'm just going to rip around and just fly the thing. And then second flight, I'm going to see how many minutes I can go on a... Uh, how high, how, how, how many minutes... How many minutes I can go on a 1300 battery. On hot. And, and real quick, let me just let me just and, finish. And let me tell you guys too. Also, it, also it, I, also it, I might lose the planes a few times, but it's gonna be okay. He's he's a professional. He's not gonna lose the plane. Okay, so aileron rates are fifty five percent travel. Uh, elevator is one hundred and ten. Okay, so just letting you know that's how that works. Um, I set my timer at four minutes and 20 seconds. So we'll see. You ready, bud? You want to hit record? Ready? You're recording? Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to get a good flight. All right. So I'm going to just kind of fly this thing like normal right now. Um, I'm just going to fly it normal. I'm 50% throttle right now. Cruising, cruising, cruising. Nice, stable flight. It wants to self-level itself, I can tell you that. It just wants to track. It just wants to track straight. It wants to be level. It wants to be flat it wants to pitch in the right direction when you want it to oh i forgot to tell you what i also did here was i went back again another time on the tail design so i am going to stick with the f22 tails i don't like the wibbly wobbly that we have here yeah 50 percent. i'm going to tell you guys right now 50 percent on the aileron is more than more than you need i would say even a beginner might want to go 40 percent if you use the bottom rung on the elevator. So it does, it's, it's not Dutch rolling. It's like kind of, it's doing the, the flying wing uh, wibble wobble. The, it, you know what I mean? Like the, FP, the, the FPV um, flying wings that they have, they just do that little tiny shake. It's when the, basically the air is coming down, down the wing and it's getting to the tip and without the extra, um, the extra vertical tail, it just doesn't have enough bite in the air to keep it tracking perfectly straight because the air is washing down the edge of the wing because it's so thick in the front. Oh, there's the wibble wobble. It just got it. It just got kicked around a little bit by the wind. So that's what I'm basically going to do. I'm going to go back to the F-22 tails straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. I'm still going. I'm still going. I got to stop because I can't see it anymore. <laughs> I can't see it either. <laughs> the camera can't even see it. I know. I'm coming straight down now. Straight I was down. Way up there. You see me now? Yeah. That's no throttle. I'm still not using any throttle. No throttle. No throttle. Still no throttle. Still no throttle. <laughs> now I'm throttle. <laughs> It's almost like a, no, I don't want to say it's like a glider. It's just a very, very efficient plane. Super efficient. I'm gonna come right by me. I'm gonna to have to land crosswind today. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that works out for me.
I did a nice off throttle uh, roll there, right in front. I'm gonna do high speed. This thing is fast. It really is fast. You know what this Guys. reminds me of? Yeah, dude. I'm talking to them. Oh, okay. I know I'm missing the shots a little bit, guys, but it's just because of the snow. It's a little hard to move in the snow because when I stand to somewhere straight, it does. I'm gonna take. A it just makes one hole. At my, it's hard to move at my time. in the snow. I, I'm, I have a, mi a minute fifty-five left, so that means I'm coming. The I'm coming can't close even to about see it. three and a half minutes. It's so quiet. Isn't it quiet, dude? Yeah. It's Dutch rolling a little bit. Yeah, definitely needs the F-22 tails. I, I put that in the design. The plane is now available. Um, it's a very stable, good plane. Look at that thing. The wind is really kicking it around though. This is a tiny, this is a tiny little 600 uh gram plane okay now i'm coming in for a landing i am off throttle completely off throttle completely off throttle and it's going into a headwind right now <laughs> behind me <laughs> it was behind me i wanted to put it down right by my feet <laughs> That was that was awesome. That was a good flight, right, dude? Yeah. Okay, you hit stop, stop on that one. One more flight. One more flight, so we can get the little guy in the in the car. Um, let me just warm up my hands for one second, and we're gonna time this. How do you reset the timer? Oh, there we go. You just hit you hit X. Go. I'm gonna fly this thing. You stay by me. All right, all right, here we go, record setter. Let's see how long we can go. We're gonna see. How are your hands doing, bud? How long can we go? This thing would actually make a good FPV set up it's getting dark so it's hard to see it so i don't know i mean i'm i'm i've never been an efficiency guy i'm just curious to see how long this can go um do you do you just make like little gradual banked movements or how do you, what, what's best? Like cruising around at 30% and just keeping it level, not trading altitude for, uh, for airspeed. Like, I, I don't know, like just doing figure eights. Uh, it's perfectly trimmed. So I know I'm not, I guess the more you, the more you bank and the more G forces you put through it, the more turbulence, uh, the less efficient it is so um i'm gonna come down here my hands are freezing though so that's my only issue <laughs> with trying to do this thing as long as i can it is super quiet though whisper quiet yeah my hands are definitely feeling it now this is my second flight here. Bring it down by me. What do you think of the uh, the pocket rocket, dude? What do you think, dude? What do you think of the pocket rocket? Should I go over by that plane? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Should I over go over by that plane? Do you think I'm next to it? Am I gonna chase him? 
<laughs> I don't think so. He is thousands and thousands of feet away. <laughs> Miles away, actually. You need, a, you, need, you need a really fast one to go there, right? Yeah. I have not fully gunned this since the, since the original hand launch. I'm probably going to fast forward this flight because I'm, I'm so far away and the... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fast forward it because it's going to be boring to just watch a GoPro this long. I'm at, oh, I have one minute left to get to 420, dude. Uh-huh. I just can't believe how efficient. Nice, easy turns. Gliding, full glide. This is why I recommend the Nacelle X Fly 50. Yeah, dude. I think I heard that guy say over there. It, wow, that's so cool. Oh, yeah? Oh, cool. Are you sure? Okay, I have 46 seconds left on the 420 countdown. <laughs> now guys, this is an old 1300 four cell Amazon special. There is nothing special about this battery here. My thumb is so frozen. <laughs> so frozen, 28 seconds. It still feels like it's got good power. We're at 20 seconds. Let's see how long we can go with a 1300. Still got a lot of power. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. We are at four and a half minutes, guys. Four and a half minutes. Let's see, I'm still out over the trees. I'm pretty confident right now that I got another 30 seconds at least. Um, I'm gonna bring it one more time. Oh, oh yeah. Tons of power still. <laughs> you know what, just for the fun of it, dude, we're plus 20 seconds already. I'm at almost five minutes. Watch, dude, full pass. Ready? Full speed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring it in now, and then I'm gonna check the voltage. All right, you stand behind me. Stand behind me, just in case. Beautiful thing. Oh. Plus plus 28 seconds. You see that? Yeah, but that's a lot. Plus 20. Oh no, okay. All right, it was a little too bumpy. But here's the good thing. Look, nothing's damaged, right? Yeah, you can still fly that. You just have to I just that. got a hot glue back on. I purposely I'll show you, I'll actually show you how little hot glue I used on this. That's so, let me let me show you. Look. Yeah, I don't see much Check color. this out. Right here, one blob, one little blob, and then the back right here, this this little uh, this little piece here. So um yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's check the voltage. Let's tell the guys how much battery we used. I don't think I cooked it. Oops. Alright, here we go, here we go. 
Let's check it. Check the voltage. Yeah. What does that say? Uh, 376! 377. You made it close. 376. I could have gone. I mean, this is, I think 375 is, is normally what people uh, bring them in at. But I, I did five minutes. Five full minutes of flying. You normally don't do that. Normally don't do that. Normally it's like two and a half to three minutes on a four cell. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Love this thing. I absolutely love it. This is going to be my go-to. Throw it in the back of the truck. Um, and fly it along with whatever else I'm flying. It's just gonna always stick with me because it's like, it's almost like a glider. Um, very efficient, fun, fun to fly. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions about it. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one.